an improper application of the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it's a hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, a man came to him and complained about poverty. He was poor. He was looking for a handout. So what did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam do? He could have easily pointed somebody to to give him money, but he asked him. He said, "Do you have anything?" at home because he was basically saying i have nothing he says no do you have something he said i have a clay pot he said bring the clay pot he brought the clay pot he auctioned it at the masjid who will give me something for this one dirham no two dirham he's teaching him you do have some resources he auctioned it off then he said who has an axe head somebody said i said i uh, said i have it he said i purchased it now with this two dirham so he's showing him now you can take your resources and now transfer it into an axe head now get me a piece of wood the prophet muhammad himself affixed the axe head to the piece of wood gave it to the man said now go into the mountains and chop wood now that's a very very profound deep hadith we can use it as a as a model of how to create self sufficiency in people work ethic recognizing the resources that you have unfortunately when people see that and this is the where where the the uk story comes in the friend my friend from the uk said that that sometimes when people come to the masjid and ask for financial assistance they'll say go chop some firewood now is that what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did he did it he didn't oversimplify this complex issue. He walked the person through a, a, a few steps. Later on, when the man came back and he said, "How are you doing?" He said, "Oh, I'm 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 financially stable." Like he was he was doing very 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 well. So in the same way, when we look at addiction, we cannot draw certain things from our tradition and then address it in that simple uh, simple way. Like the people who said, "Oh, just go chop chop some firewood." So if somebody comes to you, a friend, a family member, a community member, says, "I'm dealing with uh, with addiction," we cannot oversimplify the 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 response and say, "Oh, it's haram, just stop it." Or if you were really practicing your Islam, it would be able to stop it. Just make tawbah, just have a spiritual experience. Tasawwuf is enough, or or ihsan is enough. You know, spiritual. Just just focus on that. That's an oversimplification of how our deen actually is.